Welcome back everyone, Ninja Saurus Rex coming at you with some classic MTG packs. Um, we got some Torment, we got some Onslaught, and we got a Chinese Lorwyn. This is going to be my very first pack of Lorwyn ever opened. Kind of excited for it. I don't know what I'm looking for. Maybe you guys can tell me in the comments, you know. Um, yeah, let's get to it. Torment. Got some sleeves too. I haven't had sleeves ready on hand beside me for my previous openings, which is crazy because if I pulled some serious money, you want to protect that stuff right away, right? All right, straight into the commons. That's what I want to see. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so I don't know what I'm looking for in this set aside from Cabal Coffers. Other than that, everything is just gravy on the potatoes. Right on the potatoes. All right, Spirit Flare, instant. Tap target, untap creature control. If you do, it deals damage equal to its power to target attacking or blocking creature and opponent controls. And you can flash it back for two and three life. Nah, moving on. Organ grinder. <laughs> Gnarly, look at the art on that. What are you doing, buddy? Is he eating him? It knows what makes you tick. It knows how to make the ticking stop. Oh my, oof. Crawling in my skin. These wounds, they will not heal. Tap. That's a zombie. Three, one for three. Tap. Remove three cards from your grave from the game. Target player loses three life. Hmm. A lot of cards in the new Strixhaven wanting uh, cards to leave your graveyard. I wonder if that would work with any of them. Who knows? Who knows? I guess I'll find out soon enough. Centaur Veteran. Six for a three, three. Five and a green, this better be good. Trample, tap one, discard a card from your hand to regenerate it. Uh, you know what, this is back in the day before the cards were getting stupidly overpowered, you know? Skywing, Skywing Aven, two on flyer for three, two and a blue. Discard a card from your hand to return it to your hand. Huh, okay. It's kind of like that, um, what is it? Fleeting Image from uh, Urza's Legacy. Only discard a card instead of mana. Waste away in Margaritaville. As an additional cost to play this, you discard a card from your hand. So five and discard a card from your hand to give it minus five, minus five. What? Oh, I'm wasting away just looking at it. That's ridiculous. Longhorn Fire Beast, three, two for three, comes into play. Any opponent may have it, have it deal five damage to him or her. If a player does, sacrifice Longhorn Fire Beasts. Can I have my 3-2? No. Take 5 damage? Eh, nah, no, one, no one's going to give a darn. Rancid Earth. For 3 sorcery, destroy a land and then threshold. So if you have 7 more cards in your graveyard, destroy that land and it does 1 damage to each creature and each player. Hmm. That's kind of cool. I like that. I like extra stuff. Accelerate for two, target creature gains haste, draw a card. All right, that's something. Uh, Cephalid Aristocrat, three, three for four and a blue. Whenever it becomes a target of spell or ability, put the top two cards of your library into your graveyard. Uh, I mean, if you want that to happen, you'd really want that to happen because it's a three, three for five. Oof, moving on. Pay no heed for one white. Okay. I'm just kidding. It's uh, prevent all damage from a source of your choice till that turn. Gloom Drifter. All right, on to the uncommons. Look at this art. Adam Rex, classic artist for Magic the Gathering. I, don't, I can't think of anything new that I've seen from him, but it's fantastic. Um, okay, 2-2 two, two, Flyer for four. Threshold comes into play. Non-black creatures get 2-2 two, two, till minus 2, minus 2 until end of turn. That's not bad. That can hurt. Takes out tokens and such. All right. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Yes. I've opened two packs, and both packs have had Cabal Coffers in it. You gotta be kidding me, and that's why I got sleeves. I knew I had the sleeves. All right, what's beyond this thing? Narcissism. Oh, that was behind my last Cabal Coffers, I'm pretty sure. Or in front of it, I don't know. I don't know. Minty Fresh Cabal Coffers. Look at that. Tap two, tap it. 
Add one black tree mana pool for each swamp you control. Golly. Whew. All right. I'm happy. I'm happy. Narcissism. Enchantment for three. Tap one green, discard a card. Target creature gets two, two, two on the turn. Tap one, sack it. Two, two, two on the turn. Mm. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. We can do better. Uh, sc Skull Scorch. I like, this, I like the sound of that. Skull Scorch. Let's put this right here so you guys can see that. Toothless, don't, don't mind me. Um, sorcery for two red. Target player discards a, two cards at random from his or her hand unless that player has Skull Scorch deal. Four damage to him or her. Two cards at random. Oh, that, oh that's the rare. Oh, okay. So we got a foil? Oh, we got a foily. Oh, okay. Cool. That looks like uncommon on the screen, does it not? I don't know. Cool. I've never seen this card before in all my years. All right, for the foily, Pardic Lancer, 3, 2, 4, 5. Discard a card. It gets 101 first strike till end of turn. Discard a card at random. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, look at the foiling job on these. So fantastic. That's what's making these new time spiral, time shifted cards so expensive. Just everyone wanting. Not the fact that they're just rare, but because they're gorgeous. Got a little DCI star, wish upon a star on that. Cool. I mean, probably ain't worth much, but looks cool. It's a Bob Arian for my LaVisa cold eyes that I got. Uh, let's put you right there. Still on screen. All right, next, Lorwyn. Slow rolling it. Like six, seven minutes into this already, and see. So this one's not going to be as fun. So I'm going to go through this one kind of quick because I cannot read Chinese. If someone can tell me what cards I'm looking at here, maybe like, oh, you just pulled the best card in the set. You have no clue. I don't know. So I guess we're just looking at the art for these ones. Three. This looks like a sorcery. Do, 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 do. That's a giant. Shaving, shaving his sword. Shaving. 6-4 six, for 6. Uh, another giant. I literally don't even know what we're looking for here. The art on some of these are very familiar. Um, this has got a tap ability, so 1-1 one, one for 2. And it's got numbers in here, so you know it has to deal with... Um, I don't know... Targeting creatures, I don't know. Moving on. Ooh. This is a removal spell until this comes back into play. Or until it leaves play and then it comes back. Something like uh, Oblivion Ring. I remember that. What is going on here? Crud. Um, yeah, moving on. Um, that little dude is going to get hit in the butt with a hedgehog. Do you see that? And the slingshot, you don't, you can't fire hedgehogs. Somebody call PETA. And there's this thing. Uh, yeah. One, one for two with a ability to tap on red. Uh, this looks like an elf warrior. I'm gonna guess with the extra text that it's a creature. Uh, two, two for three. You can. It's got a tap ability. I'm gonna look all these up, and you're gonna have to look them up as well if you really want to know what's going on here. This I know from the sliver deck. This is a changeling. Um, yeah, but like I said, <laughs> can't, can't tell you what it does. Uh, this is a kithkin. Two, two for two. Something, 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 something. Plus one, plus one. And, oh my goodness. Okay, Rebecca Guay, your art is stunning. You and Richard Kane and Therese. Hmm, there's just something, there's something actually magical about it. Like, look at that. Those, those elves look like actual elves. You can't tell me you don't like that. All right, moving on to the uncommons. Uh, red non-basic land with two tap abilities. Something looks, it looks like... That's got to be damage, maybe. One, one, one. I don't know. Who knows? Comes into play tapped. Nope. There's a two there. I don't know. I'm going to stop guessing. That's gnarly. Nils. Nils Ham. Another great artist. 
Uh, yeah. No clue. This looks familiar. Uh, what? Oh, this says, um, choose three creatures, sorcery or instant for five. Choose three creatures. One gets one, one counter. The other end gets two, one, one counters. And the third gets three, one, one counters. That, I know. The name, can't tell you. All right, so we're looking at a rare here. And no, no, we are not. We are looking at an ad card. Now we're looking at the rare. Black, what are you? You are a goblin, that's for sure. Black goblin, one, one for one. And it's by Jim Pavlek. Yeah, so I'm going to have to look up this set and, um, <laughs> yeah, figure out the cards by their picture and see if they're worth anything. They're foreign, they might not be worth a whole hell of a lot, but who knows? Maybe be, it might be something useful that I might use in a deck and just tell people what it does when we, when we cross that bridge. Hmm. Gorgeous, cool. All right, on to my only pack of Onslaught. So I'm excited. There's a lot of great stuff in this set. And let me tell you, powerful stuff. Even if we don't get the, oops, sorry. Hope you're not seasick, uh, a little wobbly. Even if we don't get one of our precious, precious fetch lands, there are some awesome cards in here. Clerics, uh, Patriarch's Bidding is in here. Um, Cover of Darkness, I think that's in here. I don't know. We'll find out. What do we got? Crown of Suspicion. Chant creature gets plus two, minus one for two. And then you can sack it to have enchanted creature and other creatures that share that creature type get plus two, minus one until end of turn. Hmm. Tribal card for two that can boost the power of all your creatures by two. That's actually pretty cool. I don't know if I'd use it, but it's pretty cool. Uh, white Grizzly Bears. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Nosy Goblin, 2-1 for 3. Sack it, destroy target face down creature. Destroy a morphed creature. That's some awesome art too. By right, Thomas M. Baxa. Wicked. Moving on. Carl Critchlow's art of the choking tethers. I remember this one. Tapping four creatures back in my opposition days. I used to tap everything. Tap it in. Just tap, tap, tap. You know, or you can cycle it, draw a card, and tap one creature. Very useful, very flexible. Elvish Warrior, classic reprint. Great art, and you actually see him in battle rather than just standing there staring off. Uh, profane Prayers, dirty. I used to get slapped up by this thing. X damage to target creature or player, and you gain X life, where X is the number of clerics you control. Ouch. Misery Charm, destroy a cleric, return a cleric to your hand from your graveyard, or target player loses two life. Awesome. A must have for any cleric deck, absolutely. And um, awesome art. That skull is incredible. It's like one of those sugar skulls almost, kind of. Is that vodka in there? No, that's not vodka. All right, moving on. Gust Cloak Runner. 1-1 one, one for one soldier. When it becomes blocked, you may untap it and remove it from combat. I'm come running in fast. Oh, Shivan Dragon. Nope, nope. Sorry. No, I'm just going to go home. Forget it. Crown of Fury. 101 first strike. Enchanted creature. And other creatures share the same. Uh, just like the black one. Crown of Suspicion. Uh, yeah. All creatures of the same type get 101 first strike. That is a little scarier in my opinion. What is this? Plus two, minus one? Yeah. That's cool, it weakens them a bit, but this one's first strike and plus one plus oh. I like this one much better. Dirty in a goblin deck, absolutely. All right, Barkhide Mauler, four, 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 five, cycling. Yeah, no one's ever gonna use that. I'm pretty sure they just cycle it every time. Screeching Buzzard, two, two for four, three and a black, flying. When it dies, or put in a graveyard from play, each opponent discards a card from their hand. Cool. Right on. Not bad. Uh, invigorating Boon. Enchantment for two. Whenever a player cycles a card, you may put a 1-1 counter on target creature. Oh, well, that's not bad. Whenever a player t cycles a card, so... I don't know how often cycles are being used, but it's, it's been brought back. Someone's got to be using it somewhere. 
but no one's using this. <laughs> Blackmail, yes, that's what I'm talking about. Target player reveals three cards from his or her hand, and you choose one of them. And that player discards it. See ya. Look at that. Next uncommon. In spirit, untap a creature, it gets two, four, to end a turn for three. Nope. And standardize. What do we got here? Instant for two blue. Choose a creature type other than legend or wall. Each creature's type becomes that type until end of turn. Hmm. That's cool. At that point, the wizard's argument got a lot uglier. Yeah. I guess it would be cool in the wizard deck if you had other creatures that you needed to become wizards. I don't know. Well, I didn't get my fetch land. I didn't get my patriarch's bidding, but that's okay. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Uh, tell me who your favorite um, content creator is. I don't have a favorite myself, but I have a bunch that I absolutely love. I try to give them shout outs all the time. Uh, shout out to um, Open Boosters. Don't stop what you're doing. You make me jealous. <laughs> all right, guys. Cheers. Thanks a lot. Peace.